Let's go, Puffy! What? <laughs> I'm like, where's the green one? <laughs> Let me see if I can grab everything at once. Open the car. Let me test if I'm strong enough. Hey. <laughs> Look, everything at once. I'm a stronger than Liver King. <laughs> I'm a strong oh, Liver King. See, if you're watching this, I'm stronger than you. I care all my food at once. All right, guys, now I'm going back to Nick's house. I'm gonna show you guys how I prep my meals, all right? See ya, peace. Okay, so let me show you what I do. I'm gonna have Nick peeling this potato. So he's gonna take the skin off and then cut in squares and we're gonna cook them. And with the chicken, I use fresh garlic. So I have to take all the skin out. And then I'm gonna cut in strips like this and put over the pan. And then I'll show you how it looks. Final product. The final one. Ew, uh. the, yeah. <laughs> the chicken out. Who puts chicken in a dirty sink? No, it's not dirty. Are you crazy? I know what I'm doing, gringo. Come on. I've been cooking my whole life. Clean the chicken. Clean the chicken. Take the skin. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this part. Some people cook the chicken with this because it makes it more like, how can I say? Fatty. Um, Nobody gonna be fat in here, so we can do no fat. <laughs> All right, chickens are clean. As you can see here, now I'm gonna cut in three pieces. So we're gonna do this with every single chicken, and I'm gonna show you when to put it in the pressure cooker. Let's finish this and cook some chicken. Come on, little man. Uh, oh, I know why the dad put this. <laughs> All right, let's do the chicken. So here, olive oil, garlic, go in, salt. It's gonna be white salt for a little, because it makes it look darker, faster, okay? So the salt is just to make garlic to look dark faster. Let's wait, and I'm gonna put the chicken. That smells so good, too. This is the way the garlic should look. Then I'm gonna put a layer of chicken, and I am gonna put Salt. This looks so good. And then put more. And then put more. I'm gonna let it sit here for five minutes and I'm gonna keep moving around so the down part goes to the top and then they actually cook a little before it close the tap. Alright, ready Bungia? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Bunjinha, let me let me show your bunda for them. Little bunjinha. Bunjinha. Bunjinha has underwear. I cannot show. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Let's flip the chicken. Look, we have to cook before we close the pan. I know some people don't do that, but I like it better. Look, it's delicious. And then I'm gonna do it again, maybe just one more time, and I'll put water and close the pan. But I'll show you everything. Okay? Let it sit for a little. Let me try. Oh my God, this is delicious. Mm. Let's sit for a little more. I just waited two minutes for this one and it looks like it's ready for me to put water and close the pan. This is delicious, oh my God. Okay, the water. A little more. Closer, closer, closer. I think this is good enough. Some part of the chicken is gonna be out, but the pressure cooker is gonna cook everything. Yeah, that's, that is enough. And then last thing, I check again if there is enough like salt. Yeah, perfect. Now I am closing here. Done. Once it's already making noise, we count 30 minutes, and I'll show you later. <laughs> okay, so can you see, can you hear? The pressure is starting to be perfect for you to count 30 minutes. From the starting point, you set an alarm 30 minutes. Hey Siri, set alarm 30 minutes. I set your alarm for 7.13 p.m. I love technology. Now it's perfect for you guys to set your alarm and then I'll come back showing you guys after 30 minutes how it looks. Buffy, get out of the cabinet. You wanna see this? Look how many questions are there in this house. Look at this. 
No joke. Look at that. He's more fit than us. Okay, that's mine. That looks fire. All right, so Nick finished cutting all the sweet potatoes, and then now I literally wash them. I have to wash them before I put the clean water to cook. Look how dirty the water was. Okay, now I fill with very hot water, and let's just cook them. The fan, this is heavier than my leg press. Oh, also I put a little bit of white salt. So I'm gonna finish doing this, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, 7.13, time for us to turn off and open the pan, but you cannot open the pan, please. You cannot open the pan with the pressure. Don't open it right away. Is Don't open said. it right away. No. After the 30 minutes. Don't just open it right away. The other day, I literally kept a little pressure and I explode the pan all over the kitchen. It was a disaster. But anyways, I'm gonna put under the water to make it easy to cool down and then we can open. See, it's still a lot of pressure, look. I literally just pull the little pan on top. Not much because the pin cannot come off until all the pressure is off. All right, see, no more pressure. When there's no more pressure, the pen open by itself, look. Gee, that smells amazing. So, you have two options. You can either drain the water or you can keep the water, which I like better. But look at this, look. Just by touching, look. Oh my God. Oh my God. So this is the way I literally just cook them and then just go over like this. You can also close again and then shake it. All right, so once I mix all out, this is the way it is. This is the best shredded chicken, look. The best part of meal prepping is you can eat so fast because it's sweet potato when you mash them. It's so easy to eat, you know? Oh yeah. All right, the reason I cook like that is because it stays fresh the whole week. I could totally just freaking grill five minutes but imagine every time you have to eat you have to cook it's it's really bad so i literally have it like this because it stays fresh the food is never dry it tastes amazing i hope you guys really try it because it's fire you should trust me you want some here let's eat together <laughs> Just drain the water. Now I'm gonna make the mashed potato. What I basically do is mash the potato. That's it, no oil, no butter, no nothing, no extra salt. But if you want to seasoning and make it more soft, you can literally put grass-fed butter, okay? <laughs> now it's time, let me show you. I decided to put some garlic and some butter before the mashed potato so it tastes better. It smells fire. Oh. oh my God, it's unbelievable. Let me eat it too. Now we're gonna just um, put it in the container. <laughs> I, 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 I'm so sore. My quads are so sore. Damn. My quads are so sore. Can you see quads? Sore. <laughs> But yeah, let's finish this and let's put it in, in a container. 20 minutes, put it in the containers. So two hours, 30 minutes, let's say max three hours because we have to clean. First, I have food for the full week. So what I do, I keep my food for Monday and Tuesday outside of the fridge. And then foods for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I keep it in the freezer. And then when it's Tuesday night, I put some meals for Wednesday out in the freezer, you know? So it keeps it very fresh. So we're gonna put the food in a container. I've been doing this for so long, I do literally measure eyeball. So I know how much exactly I need without measuring. But if you need a measure, buy a food scale, and then you're gonna weigh as much chicken you need, as much sweet potato you need, and you're gonna make your food. I like to put the chicken before the sweet potato. So I put the sweet potato on top, and then I cover the chicken. It keeps the chicken to get dry. So I do this. Right, so, okay, let's say there's 200 grams of chicken in here. So I put chicken in all container. Then I come over with the sweet potato. So it looks like this. And I hide the chicken. We call it hiding chicken in Portuguese. Look. You can actually also put a little bit of cheese and then 
after when you warm That's up. It's so fire. But I don't do che uh, cheese. I just do like this. So yeah, I'm gonna do all f and I'll show you guys. All right guys, are you guys ready to see the final product? Okay, so one, two, three, and this is the final product. See, simple. What do I do is, <clears throat> I have two of these a day and one extra rice and eggs, plus cream of rice, plus oatmeal, plus a shake before sleep, plus a carb powder during the workout, so I have a lot of carbs. I'm not afraid of carbs. I actually literally trying to put as much muscle as I can without body fat. So 10 of these are mine, 10 of these are Nick. So yep, that's it. Simple as that. I really hope you guys try because you guys are gonna be amazed. It's delicious. If you guys make it, tag me. I want you guys to ask me whatever you want. The reason I'm doing this is because my DM was filled with question how I made the chicken. So I want to help you guys how to have a better physique. So improving your physique, I'm happy. So DM me whatever you want, you guys want to see from me and tag me if you do the chicken, okay? All right, see, now we put it in the fridge and we good for the full week. All right, guys, this was not a crazy video, not a crazy vlog, but I really want to help you guys to succeed on your the best shape of your life and this, it'll help. Maybe you guys gonna shred a lot if you guys end up doing meal prep, okay? So subscribe, like, comment, whatever you guys wanna see from me. Papa, can you record uh, the way you make your pre-workout shake? Pre-workout shake, uh, how do you make your cow powder? So ask and I'll do it for you, okay? So count on me, welcome to my channel, and I mean, wait, what should I say? I got lost. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> I'm tired. Like a baby. Mm, I'm tired. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>